Hi guys, I welcome you all in this React.js essential training course. I have already created videos on AngularJS. If you haven't seen those videos, make sure to check that out if you want to learn AngularJS. But right now, I thought to create tutorial series on another JavaScript library that is React. This is one of the most powerful uh, libraries, JavaScript libraries nowadays in the market. So before starting with it, I just want to let you know that if you haven't subscribed my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video. So what is React? React is JavaScript library developed by Facebook. It is being used by many big companies nowadays like uh, it is used in Twitter, Instagram, Uber and much more. It is used to create interactive and reusable components for web and native mobile apps. It is one of the highly recommended and powerful JavaScript libraries along with uh, Angular, Vue, uh, Angular. these are actually the frameworks but a kind of um, uh, can be also used with the UI interfaces. So why to use React? There are other libraries as well. It has some benefits uh, if you want to uh, create interactive web applications. So it uses a virtual DOM actually for manipulation of elements. If you have worked in JavaScript, you must know that uh, you need to select an element and you want to update that element uh, with the document dot um, get element by ID and these kinds of functions. To work with virtual DOM, it uses DOM diffing to detect the changed elements. It only updates necessary elements using virtual DOM. In DOM diffing, JavaScript objects are compared rather than the actual DOM. So let's see a, a virtual representation of um, this virtual DOM. In JavaScript, uh, native JavaScript code, we actually get and select the element from the actual DOM and update the actual DOM whenever we are required. But in React, it uses a virtual DOM. It creates the copy of actual DOM into a virtual DOM. And whenever we need to update an element, we don't select that element from the actual DOM. Instead, we get that element from the virtual DOM in our JavaScript objects and it detects that what elements have been changed and only those changed elements will be replaced in actual DOM. So this makes React pretty fast. Um, earlier this uh, wasn't the case because we needed to update the whole DOM and that took a lot of time. And this is the case that React is nowadays one of the most powerful and the fast JavaScript libraries. So now let's get started working with React in our project. 